this machine that I'm just starting on as you can see by the lettering it's called a Minnesota A machine I think it uh, early 1900s according to the serial number and what little bit I've been able to find online about it I'm taking this photo spread because I haven't actually started on it as far as bringing it back to life but I'm about to you can see some of the insides in there and you can see the the shuttle bobbin going back and forth thank god it's all still in there Susie's great grandmother left this machine behind and it's pretty obvious nobody in the family took this project on they didn't care about it of course it's just an old shuttle machine anyway so they think pretty shaky I know I just wanted to get some of this recorded before I actually start making the machine bringing the machine back to life um, what we're looking at right now this this cabinet that you're seeing is the cabinet that that machine was in. I re I re I brought this cabinet back to life so that Susie can use it with her modern Singer 44S machine. But I did it in such a way that I didn't, what I'm trying to say here is that I didn't make any permanent changes to the cabinet so that we could still put the machine that belongs in it this machine back in this cabinet that I brought back to life uh, a couple weeks ago so what I didn't do with this cabinet was I didn't take any before pictures of it so you really can't see a before and after with the cabinet but I am doing it with the machine and so let this count as some before pictures because I'm going to start in on it as soon as I put this phone down okie dokie Minnesota A it was sold by Sears and Roebuck made by the Davis sewing machine company. Okay, out of here.